Hey there, Brendan Bailey with Marine Max here in beautiful Fort Myers, Florida. I'm going to walk you through this new 370 Sundancer that we just got in. We're going to start back here at the swim platform. As you can see, a nice swim platform with a good amount of entertaining space back here. The ability to walk from port to starboard, really good. They've really extended this platform, even with these outboards on the back, which is impressive. So this boat's powered with the Mercury V8 triple 300s. Uh, joystick docking, skyhook or virtual anchor as I like to call it. Um, a lot of technology really takes the anxiety away. Uh, the perfect uh, propulsion package uh, for this boat. So as we step forward, you're going to see here uh, a lounge seating here. You can lower this down and it makes a nice sun pad, a good area to hang out, watch the sunset while your friends are in the water. Just a cool area just to kind of lounge and, uh, and enjoy the sun. Or if you don't want the sun, we've got this sure shade just above us. Comes out almost all the way to the engines. Actually, it does come out to the engines. So lots of shade coverage when you want it. When you don't, hit a button up on the helm, sure shade goes away. And this is more sun lounging back here as well. So we're gonna step forward into the cockpit. I'll leave that sun lounge area down. One of the first things I notice when I get on here is this is the stadium seating back here really makes for a great entertainment spot face-to-face um, -face conversation some boats you'll get on you'll have seating just on one side and you kind of have to turn and look over your shoulder to have a conversation this boat is a conversation masterpiece the way they've laid this out your wet bar prep area that's here Kenyan grill it's got the sink in here refrigerator isotherm refrigerator trash can receptacles a drawer to keep all your stuff in um, really, really a good layout. Once you add the two tables back here, which are beautiful tables, that also makes for a great dining spot as well if you want to dine here in the cockpit. As I step further forward, one of the first things I start to realize is one, I've got glass all the way over the top of me, a sunroof that opens up here, a good sized sunroof as well, but I also start to feel that cool air blowing on me. This is an air conditioned cockpit. Uh, really, really laid out well. Feels good, especially once you start getting into this area here underneath this hard top. Uh, you can feel that air circulating around. Dual helm seat, or uh, dual first mate seat here on the uh, port side. And then as we step behind the helm, again, all the technology that you need for a low stress, low anxiety trip. Uh, joystick docking with skyhook, uh, the brand new binnacle throttles from Mercury Marine. One touch start, one touch stop. Uh, auto active trim keeps those outboards trimmed. Really, they're taking away a lot of the check boxes of things you need to wor worry about and rely on and get proficient at. Uh, the system and the technology is doing a lot of that for you. As you look forward at this beautiful glass dash, look at these dual Simrad screens, 16 inch Simrad screens. All digital switching really makes it nice for when you're out and you wanna be able to see something as you run the sure shades out, it shows it out. When you have lights on, it shows you your lights are on. All your digital switching really makes it easy to see what's going on board as the captain. Fusion stereo, again, flush mounted in. Just a really, really good layout. Boat runs extremely well, cruises around 37 mile an hour. Um, just a really well performing boat. And look at the size of this windshield. One piece windshield, tons of visibility. Even this side glass, I mean, that's like a piece of artwork right there. Be able to look out here with a big one piece glass, no framework throughout it. You do have a couple of vents, electric vents here forward and a vent here. If you wanted to force some air in, you could do that, um, which is a great idea. If you're not running the air conditioning, maybe it's a cool day and you just want to run some cool air uh, and wind through the cockpit. They've uh, they made that possible with just the touch of a button. So I'm going to step here onto the port side. A lot of us remember Sundancers, especially in this size range where you had a, a cabin door that was closed and it had a few steps on it. And somehow, like a circus act, you found your way up forward to this little flat mattress pad up front. A um, little bit of a balancing act. You're nervous for your kids or wife to go forward like that, especially underway. As we move forward on the new 370 Sundancer, look at the amount of freeboard that you have on the side. You really feel secure walking through here. This will close off, obviously and make this a completely enclosed weatherproof area. But as we step forward, again, I'm, I'm literally still standing down inside the boat and look at this lounge area. I don't think my wife and daughter would ever leave this area on the boat. You've got opposing seating here that will face forward if you just wanted to sit or face aft. And then here, beautiful lounge seating. 
I'm six foot five, so you can see you've got plenty of room to spread out for myself and two more, as well as if somebody wanted to sit up forward here and have a conversation. Maybe you're watching the sunset. This particular boat does have the forward awning that you can put up. So a nice bow for entertaining, for cruising. And again, as you lay here and you think about running down the ocean or running down the intercoastal waterway, you've got this great grab handle. You're sitting down inside, not on top. Just a really, really nice day boat layout. So as we start to walk back into the cockpit, we're gonna go down into the cabin. And again, another reimagined cabin design, um, something that you don't see on a lot of cruisers this size. So as you step back into the mid berth, you're gonna see this U-shaped seating area. This obviously folds out into a nice bed. This would probably be a full-size bed back here. Two people could sleep here pretty easily. You've got lots of window, so you can see out, lots of window space so you can see out. A flip-up TV here, which is a pretty neat addition. When I think about wanting to put my kids back here, maybe they wanna sit and watch a movie before they go to sleep flip that TV up when you don't want it, it's folded down out of the way and creates another storage area. The head on this boat is actually located here on the starboard side. 37 foot boat, separate shower, not your traditional wet head that you'd see on most heads on a 37 foot cruiser. And then look at the amount of floor space and headroom. Again, I'm six foot five. I've got headspace all the way through here and it does nothing but get higher as I walk towards the cabin entry door. This area here is a nice area to kind of sit down here, lounge, maybe get freshened up or to kind of cool off. But another sleeping quarters here, you can literally hit a switch here. This completely folds out automatically and makes a large bed for you to be able to sleep on here. Hanging locker and TV flush mounted here into the wall and then a galley. You know, Sea Ray several years back figured out that people don't want this whole side of the boat to be a galley, so they've done an abbreviated galley with just the basics, because most of what you're prepping is gonna be up into the cockpit, at the Kenyan Grill, around that wet bar area with all your friends, not down here. So you've got your, your uh, fridge, microwave, and storage area just to kind of maybe prep food and then take it up, keep it refrigerated down here. So. This 370 Sundancer to me is the great blend of day boat slash cruiser um, that we're seeing on the market today. And I really feel like it checks a lot of boxes on a lot of different families' needs for cruising the coast. So we'd love to show you this boat. Give us a call, 972-670-8211. I'm Brendan Bailey, and we'd love to show you and get you on board. Bye-bye.